Yo, what is up, people, and welcome back to another amazing video on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at five dictators who were the worst in history. For any of you guys who are excited for this video, then be sure to leave a like, as well as subscribing to the channel if you're new around here. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's take a look at some dictators. Coming up at our number 5 spot, we've got Myanmar Gaddafi. Shortly after becoming Libya's ruler, Gaddafi executed his influence by making opposition to his regime illegal. He was commonly known as Colonel Gaddafi and certainly had a reputation for being a political theorist. Within the military of Libya, he founded a revolutionary group which deposed the western-backed Senussi monarchy of Idris back in 1969. Gaddafi has major issues with other super powerful countries like the UK and the US. He really just didn't help himself at the end of the day. He also caused massive problems between Ronald Reagan, Reagan the President of the United States from 1981 all the way to 1989. Build an inclusive and tolerant and democratic Libya that stands as the ultimate rebuke. Coming in at the number 4 spot we've got Pol Pot. Pol Pot was the leader of Cambodia from the years of 1975 to 1979. Pot supposedly attempted to turn Canada to its royal roots by forcing city residents to toil and collect farms. Pot's Communist Party certainly caused a lot of deaths, with the set figure approximately 2 million. I mean, if you're a leader and you are the cause of even hundreds of deaths, you've been doing it all wrong, but millions is a different story. He buried some of his victims in what were called the killing fields in an attempt to hide the evidence. The so-to-be said cause of death was supposedly starvation for the poor people. The leader died in 1998 and will be remembered for one of the worst dictators ever. Next up at our number 3 spot we've got Idi Yaman. Military background and courage served the man well, with him overthrowing the Ugandan leader at the time for him to become a self-proclaimed president for life. His brutal 8 year reign was marked by economic breakdowns, political authoritarianism, corruption, human rights violation, and many more. So it's fair to say this guy had a stack list of reasons for him being a bad leader. Apparently there were even rumors of cannibalism associated with the man. I mean, as if all the previous crimes weren't enough, then he's truly topped it off there. By alienating his followers with unpredictable behavior, the butchering of the Ugandan country ensured he ended his life alone after being exiled. worlds are looking at General Amin and uh, Uganda as a whole. Moving swiftly into our number two spot, we've got Joseph Stalin. Stalin was a president of the USSR from 1924 to 1953 after serving for Vladimir Lenin. This man became a dictator through discrediting and eliminating rivals. The communists' aggressive industrialization killed millions of people through famine, murder, and gulag camps. But the Great Purge was the darkest period, when people were deported and randomly executed, Though he helped to feed the Nazis in World War II, this paranoid man's influence was thankfully erased after his death. And finally, coming in at our number one spot, we've got who else but Adolf Hitler. This man was a German Chancellor and leader of the Nazis in the Third Reich. Hitler made his motives clear when he made the Nazis the only legal political party, and later used suppression, propaganda, and death to squash opponents. By annexing countries, triggering World War II, and initiating a holocaust of Jews, gypsies, and communists, homosexuals, and even handicaps, Hitler caused many deaths and committed some of the worst atrocities in human history. But yeah guys, that's it for me for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to smash the like button if you did, as well as subscribing if you're new around here. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.